should be enough for the match. Three of those kind of Don't shots that have literally just been off straight, and all three of them he's hit full in the face. It's also tied up green and brown, which doesn't favour O'Sullivan, 58 behind. You hear the cheers, though, from the fans there. I think a lot of them thought it was over. Not yet. I don't think he'd read it as a sign of weakness from John that he hasn't capitalised it. So to eight. Ronnie O'Sullivan, forty four. Close to the pocket. Hey. Something like that. Well, two chances to kill it off. Twelve. So it's just a little further away than 17. you would like. Uh, it's just terrific clearance that from Ronnie O'Sullivan. He struggled today, but that was sheer quality. And the fans here in Shanghai loving it. Well, it nearly struggled in, and that margin could make a massive difference now in this match. That could have been the end. Yeah, but the red is so over to Ronnie O'Sullivan, who is hanging on in this match, which could have been over several times. Yeah, I'd say John's in the chair, probably fearing the worst. I'll come down to that cannon. Ported there. Run your side of the when it all looked pretty bleak not so long ago. Six. Uh, another big shot coming up here. In it goes. Seven. So it looks like we're going into another frame. Incredible. Thirty in front, twenty-seven on. Fourteen. Well, he has battled away. 16. It's all been bits and pieces. There's been no half centuries. None of the usual dashing. Obviously, he can still win it, but the pressure's on because Ronnie O'Sullivan's made it a lot closer. Five-four. He's still in there fighting, and the crowd here who are supporting him are delighted. Kind of red or anything from distance earlier on the match, he wasn't getting not only did he pot that but played it beautifully, great control. Crowd sensing that this match is well and truly turning. A little bit of noise in the audience. That's possible in the next, maybe this from next, John 
mightn't. You can't guarantee you're going to get another chance. You hope. You will. Seen so often before now, he just wins the frame with a big break. As he is, this would definitely be a, b a blow to lose. Not just that he had the lead, but also that he had the chatly. Yeah, and it would be a match, and he's not lost it yet, but it would be a match that would be added to a list of matches in the last couple of years where he's been in very, very strong position. And it's the same chance of five all. That we associate with him. This is frame ball. It's five all. And if John Higgins was under pressure before now. 86. 87. Well, he was there for the taking. Now he's the favourite to win this match. Yes, he can, and the cue ball has obliged by staying out. <laughs> so what a turnaround. Having not made a half century, all day he's made a century in this frame. 100 exactly from his first chance. Ronnie O'Sullivan has won three on the spin. Phenomenal shot. Not just the pot, but the reaction he's got. Chances are he will, I think. And, you know, if he's here on Sunday again with the trophy, you, you look back on this and you think, well, how? Because he was struggling so badly. The answer is really his attitude. He's been able to capitalise. Again, for the first time you feel the match is in his hands. Thirty one. Michael Holt, the last winner over O'Sullivan in Shanghai. Hmm. And then the two reds on the left hand side should be available into the opposite corner. 45. Deemed that a good cannon. Fifth is three. We've also seen here how much O'Sullivan wants to win. And this is a sensational finish, isn't it? First chance, five each. First chance, looks like six five. Just hung on in there. Six to five. Eventually, if you wait long enough, there's always that chance it can turn around. What a finish from the greatest player we've ever seen. At times today, that form to the semis, possibly win the tournament. It's going to be it's going to feel like a very long journey home, I think, for him. Thinking of what might have been a tough nut to crack. In, in this mindset, this attitude, he's definitely in the right mental place to be able to go toe to toe with him. Hadn't made a half century all day. He made a century in the last frame. He's made one in the clinching frame. Ronnie O'Sullivan. As ever, doing it in style. Glorious. What a couple of frames he's put together here. Sensational finish from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Back to back centuries of 100 and 130. He was deep in trouble. 5-2 down, John Higgins was a big, big favourite, he couldn't close it out, he didn't get over the line, and Ronnie...